For centuries, the Dutch have fought against their arch enemy, water. Because about half of the country is at or below sea level, most of the Netherlands could be underwater if it was not for dikes, levees, pumps and large dams to keep it dry and safe. But sometimes the sea is victorious and floods large areas. The last time that such a disaster happened was in 1953, when a hurricane force storm smashed dikes and dams and inundated large parts of Holland and Zealand. But during the Dutch War of Independence in the 16th and 17th centuries, the Dutch found an ally in their arch enemy. Their struggle against Spain seemed almost hopeless because the rebels were facing the best trained, supplied and funded European army of that era. As the underdog, they turned to water and used it as a weapon against the Spanish by planning and carrying out a number of military inundations intentionally flooding enormous swathes of land in order to stop or even defeat the enemy. However, without wanting to go too far down the road of counterfactual history, it is entirely possible that during the Dutch Wars of Independence, the province of Holland could have been permanently flooded and lost to the North Sea, meaning no Rembrandt, no Vermeer and no Dutch Golden Age. The Spanish, seriously hurt by the military inundations, hatched a secret plan that aimed at defeating the Dutch by turning their watery ally against them. Luckily, this plan was never carried out. While Holland survived, the Dutch constructed a line of fortifications and waterworks to facilitate military inundations, which became known as the Dutch Waterline. This militarization of the Dutch landscape had profound long-term political, social and environmental consequences for the province and the region. To learn more about the history of military inundations during the Dutch Wars of Independence and the long-term political, social and environmental consequences for the Netherlands, join Robert Teeks in conversation with Jan Oostuk on episode 77 of Exploring Environmental History.